Oh, I thought of Z. How am I to remember that? Yes, zero begins with Z. It's one of the hissing sounds. Okay, so I could probably quiz you right now and you'd get probably all ten of them right. But let, let's, um, with just a little bit of practice, you, you, you can learn this list inside out, backwards and forwards. And once you have that, you can then take numbers, meaningless random numbers, and turn them into meaningful, memorable words. Let me give you an example. Uh, let's take the first few digits of pi. <laughs> <laughs> I know, how are you going to check it? Here are the first 60 digits of pi, thank you very much. And let me show you, let me show you the, um, the mnemonics that I use for, for learning it. Okay, so uh, for example, let, the first three digits, we have uh, three is what? An M, one is T or D, four is R, and so by, so by sticking vowel sounds wherever you like, you can make words like uh, matter, or meter, or mother. Uh, and uh, if, if you had, if you allow the next sound, uh, the, the T here, or the T or D sound, you can make a word like Madrid, right? And you don't always get lucky with, uh, with four digits, but you could, you could do that. Um, notice, by the way, that matter, though it has two T's in the middle of it, the T sound only occurs once. Spelling does not matter. <laughs> it's, uh, I just realized that. So spelling doesn't matter. It's all about sound. Uh, the first five digits, we can make a nice pair of words out of that. My turtle. Yeah, and so the first five digits of pi become my turtle. Uh, the, the first, here are the first uh, 24 digits of pi. If you have time, you can turn them into actual sentences. The first 24 digits become my turtle poncho, will my love pick up my new mover ginger. <laughs> My turtle poncho will my love pick up my new Hoover ginger. Say that sentence five times and you'll unfortunately have it memorized. <laughs> and with that silly sentence, you would have the first 24 digits of pi. Because there's only those words you can only turn back into those numbers. The next 17 digits over here, which starts off 338 or MMV, becomes my movie monkey plays in a favorite bucket. <laughs> but I think I like the next 19 the most. They say, ship my puppy Michael to Sullivan's back rubber. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you want to know 100 digits of pi, I won't write the next 40 digits down, but I'll give you their sentences. They say, a really open music video cheers Jenny F. Jones, followed by, have a baby fish night so Marvin will marinate the goose chick. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> But I have a hard time looking at a beautiful number like pi and, and resisting the urge to break into song. <laughs> In fact, uh, as, as John mentioned, when I was here, I was, a, um, I, I was an active member of Scotch and Soda. Let's hear from Scotch and Soda. <laughs> and uh, my freshman year, I got to write the lyrics to the spring musical. It was literally a dream come true. <coughs> And I, though I haven't written uh, any other full-length musical since then, I do like writing parodies. And um, this was a song I wrote a few years ago in celebration of Pi Day, uh, three, March 14th, right? 3-14. It's Pi Day. And um, to a tune that some of you might recognize. I will simultaneously demonstrate for you that there's absolutely no connection between talent and math and talent and music. Okay, so here it goes. <laughs> Long, long time ago, I can still remember how my math class used to make me snore. Because every number we would meet would terminate or just repeat. But maybe there were numbers that did more. 
Then my teacher said, I dare ya, to try to find the circle there ya. <laughs> Despite my every action, I couldn't find a fraction. I can't remember if I cried the more I tried or circumscribed. <laughs> but something touched me deep inside the day I learned of pie. <laughs> oh, pie, pie, mathematical pie. Twice eleven over seven is a mighty fine try. A good old fraction you may hope to supply, but the decimal expansion won't die. Pie, pie, mathematical pie. 3.14159265589. A good old fraction you may hope to define, but the decimal expansion won't die. Uh, as our first example. 
43. Okay, that's not the smallest of two-digit numbers, but we'll do it anyway. Now, 43 is not a bad number to multiply, but what number close to 43 is much easier? 40. So I go down 3 to 40, and whatever goes up has to come down, or whatever goes down has to go up. If I go down 3 to 40, I then go up the same distance to the number 46. So the first part of my calculation is I do 46 times 40. I don't panic, that's just 46 times 4 with a friendly zero attached. <laughs> Let me only this once show you how I would do 46 times 4 because everything I do is done from left 